That's how love goes. You gotta read just what you sow. No, no, baby. Baby, want me. Happened to you just like it happened to me. Oh, uh, yeah. That's how love goes. It's gonna happen to you just like it happened to me, babe. Oh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, I'm going to get into this real quick. This is a quick video that I really wanted to make a comment about because I'm familiar with the school and I'm familiar with its um, racist type of attitude, I guess. That's the way I would describe it. However, I'm not the brother uh, of the former vice pre uh, president, actually. I'm not the brother-in-law. Oh, and sister-in-law of um, the former vice president, okay? So Craig Robinson and his wife, Kelly, filed a lawsuit against the University School of Milwaukee. It alleges that um, the school expelled the couple's two young sons after the Robinsons raised concerns about racial and social economic bias at the school. They retaliated, kicking two young children out of the school, Robinson told WISN Channel 12 News. University School of Milwaukee is considered one of the top private schools in America. In a YouTube video, the school posted at the start of the school year that they shared their key ideas. On a culture built around common trust, we are a diverse community of learners, leaders, and citizens. We and we have much to offer one another, the video says. Um, it says, uh, the Robinson's lawsuit alleged racism and breach of contract from two of his most famous parents. The lawsuit said administration kicked their children out of the pre-K through 12 school after the parents complained about racial discrimination. The Robinsons said that the school retaliated against their family after they submitted two separate reports on in January and March 2021 to the school, concerned about what they felt was racial and ethnic stereotypes in a virtual classroom assignment. After the conversations emailed, the parents said they were stunned on April 14, 2021, when the school told them it was dismissing their fifth grade student and then their third grade student on June 21st, 2021. The complaint cited a letter the school wrote and claimed that the parents repeatedly engaged in disrespectful and demeaning communications with or about our teachers and administrators. It has only become more evident that there has been a complete breakdown in your family's trust and respect for USM, the letter said. The Robinson students' um, children were 9 and 11 years old at the time. Their parents asked ABC News to blur their faces. The school even said that they were model students called them, calling them portraits of a graduate. But now the school said they'll need to graduate somewhere else. The head of the school, Steve Hancock, that's that um, arrogant, pompous son of a bitch that I spoke with, that I thought that he was very disrespectful uh, because, of course, um, there was a scholarship involved with my daughter because I can't afford to uh, pay $4,000, I think it is, a semester to send. But what happened was I had the application from a teacher that recommended my child uh, to go to university school. Anyway, they're the very few uh, children that go to university school, like maybe the, um, I think the Finlaysons. And when I talk about very few, I'm talking about very few black families. Um, the Finlaysons, uh, fathers, 
was a doctor. I think they went to university school or the Malones. Uh, and um, if y'all know, I don't know if y'all have Malone sausage over there um, outside the Midwest, but I believe his kids went there. Very few black, but most of the parents are prominent, but they do give out a certain amount of scholarships a semester. But anyway, let me finish. Um, he said he could not offer specific comments on the case. That's what this Steve Hancock dude said. However, we can tell you that USM's enrollment decisions had nothing to do with complaints or inequity of discrimination. We intend to vigorously defend the school against any claim to the contrary. Um, Hancock's letter read, We cannot and will not tolerate persistently disrespectful, bullying, or harassing behavior directed at our devoted and hardworking teachers and administrations, administrators. Such conduct that makes a faculty feel unsafe, not only violates our common trust pledge and parent school partnership, but also interferes with USM's um, operations and precludes a positive and constructive working relationship between the school and the families that we proudly serve. When such parental conduct threatens the educational environment we have created, we have no choice but to take action. He said the school was committed to justice Mm -hmm. equality, equity, diversity, and inclusion, and does not tolerate discrimination. I'm going to take a deep breath. This is another lie. We encourage any member of our community who believes they have experienced or witnessed discrimination to promptly report it. Consistent with our established and enforced policy, all such reports will be taken seriously. That's the second lie. We actively encourage and highly value feedback from all our constituents regarding our educational programming. It is thorough. It is thorough. Con it is through, I'm sorry, continuously examining our practices and curriculum that we maintain a strong institution. They are one of the best schools in Milwaukee. Um, but uh, the curriculum is awesome. And most of the, I think, 97% of the kids that leave university school go on to um, have successful uh, uh, careers. Okay? However, when you make sure that you don't have but 1.2 black children in your school, now that may not be the exact number, but it's very, very, and I, like I said, it is an expensive school and not many African Americans can afford to pay that much for a private education. But when you have staff that come along and come off as uh, better than uh, disrespectful, and this is what I, I gathered and what I felt pompousness that you don't belong here and what do you mean how dare you think that type of attitude uh, the Robinson spoke about the lawsuit which the Robinson reports on Good Morning America the use of the word plantation and things of that nature Craig Robinson said of the assignments his students received during COVID-19 in addition to the a racial and ethnic stereotypes, there was an insistency to social economic status as well as a disregard for children who weren't physically in the classroom. Craig Robinson said that he shared his concern with the school and offered suggestions about the assignments. You think they wanted to hear that? From you? And they probably was a uh, uh, Trump supporters anyway. Anyway. Anyway, the story resonated with many families in the community and former University School of Milwaukee families reached out to us and said um, they wasn't aware of how far reaching it was and her stories of families being retaliated against. 
Kelly Robinson told Roberts. We also heard about the bias that have been shared over the years. And while we heard biases and that we would like to point out in this egregious nature in which they handle with us and our boys. But one of the stories that we weren't made aware, weren't made aware of was that just as recent as 10 years ago. She said the students in reenacted the Underground Railroad and dressed up as slaves and ran through the school in the dark and teachers were the slave masters who captured the students. Kelly Robinson went on to tell Roberts white students used the nigger word and were not punished. This is hard. This is hard on all of us. But in particular of the on these children, it's extremely hard. Robinson said that nearly 40 other families have reached out to them. Once former and current parents came out to let us know that they had been through something similar, we felt obligated to not let this happen to anybody else moving forward, said Craig Robinson. Um, actually, I know a, a, a guy who ran a insurance business, and he had two children in university school. And uh, he stayed broke, and he was a single parent. trying to pay that tuition and those kids um, had stories that they felt uncomfortable with and again he had two children and they were black anyway um, once former and current parents came out to let us know again that they had been something similar we felt obligated to do something the school shared a letter with WIS Instant News that is sent to the school community. It says, in part, when such parental conduct threatens the educational environments we have created, we have no choice but to take action. They use the words bullying and harassment to teachers and staff. How do you respond to that? Asked Hillary Mintz, um, not all, now that tall black guy can't advocate for his kids without being called a bully. That's what it is. The school wouldn't comment on specifics about Robinson's allegation. It has 45 days to formally respond to the lawsuit. Now, the school did say terminating an enrollment contract isn't unprecedented, but it is a last resort. Craig Robinson formerly worked for the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, a lot of their kids go to a university school. Um, and uh, But like I said before, they are mostly Caucasian children who have prominent parents. Well, like I said, it's the best private school in Milwaukee. But I learned about maybe about 10 years ago, or longer than that, maybe about uh, 97, 2000, yeah, about 20 years ago, I realized that um, university school had a lot of issues. And so I will keep my eye on this story because I hope that they sue the hell out of that school. And, 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 as a matter of fact, have an open discussion and dialogue with all the black parents that have children in that school that won't say anything for fear of retaliation. Have them a part of it. All right. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.